I had a subscriber ask a question today, and they said, how does I Justine, if you go to her YouTube account, you're gonna see she has these bars like you see here on the side of her videos. And they said, how does she do that? And so, she had a little tutorial on how she did it very quickly, but I wanna go through in depth how to do that in Final Cut and in Motion. So, Justine, if you're watching this, it's called the I Justine Effect. Let's get started, guys. I've opened a new sequence, nothing special at all, just a brand new sequence. I just right-clicked new sequence and what we're gonna do is pretty simple we're gonna scroll over on our browser and you know there's a lot of these just useless categories but we're gonna go over to the anamorphic which is an important one and all we're gonna do is check this box right here you can also change this setting by going right clicking and settings and you can check anamorphic 16 by 9 hit OK and I recorded this movie on my camera here on the computer and we're just gonna drag in here and you're gonna see it needs to be rendered. No big deal, because we're gonna add the effect underneath. But first we just want to drag this, and so we have room, because we're gonna put a bottom layer of the graphics underneath. But all we need to do now is go into Motion, or I think Justine said she went into Adobe Photoshop and did the graphics, but I'm just gonna do it here in Motion. So let's go to Motion and create our graphics. Now she does this effect in Adobe, but they're just simple graphics, so let's go ahead and create that white yellow here let's go ahead and select let's go ahead and open up command 4 shift Z let's change the fill color to that there and let's add the gradient on each side now we can go ahead and create this gradient go to inspector gradient. Now there's a gradient that's probably similar if we go to our library gradients and we hit sundown drag that in and we're gonna see okay that's pretty similar let's go ahead and edit the gradient by right clicking and we can scale this around I'm gonna scale this in and if we look back at her video it's pretty close. Now what I'm gonna do is change the color a little bit more yellow so the inspector open up the gradient with our rectangle selected and I'm gonna make this a uh, not such a dirty yellow we turn it up a little bit and that should be matching pretty well here now you're gonna notice there's a drop shadow from this shape it, this is one shape here underneath the video and so what we're gonna do is copy and paste this rectangle copy or duplicate and we're gonna drag it there and I'm going to put it on this side and all we're gonna do is edit the gradient right here and switch around which side the orange is coming from because we want it to match and let's put that back now with the first rectangle we made let's go ahead and bring that up and bring that to the top of the layers by dragging it and now it's on the top good let's size it down to the edges here And so that's about good right there. And let's go ahead and add the drop shadow that she has. And so we can hit drop shadow, go to our properties, and we're going to edit this drop shadow. And you're going to see I want it to be a little more blurred. And there we go. Let me scale this down a little bit more. And we're going to center it here. Open up a tiny bit more. And let's see if we can match the center. Perfect. Now let's export. Command E, we're going to go current frame, and I'm going to go with a PNG. Perfect, let's take it into Final Cut. We've got our movie on the second layer. Let's go ahead and go to today. I'm going to drag that picture two in here, put it underneath this video, and let's see how this looks. There we go, we have the iJustine effect. And go ahead and render it out by hitting Option R.